We are back at 810 with the Today Exclusive. And if your resolution is to get healthier in the new year, please pay attention to this one. <laughs> yes, U.S. News and World Report is releasing a roundup of its best diets for 2024. We've got your first look this morning. Here to tell us more is Managing Health Editor Gretel Schuler. Gretel, good morning. Good first morning. Thing, before we get into the specific diets, how is it that U.S. News compiled this list? Right, so we analyzed dozens and dozens of diets. We work very closely with our team of best diet panelists. These are 43 experts who uh, specialize in weight loss, diet-related diseases, and nutrition. Basically, all they do is study the healthiest way to eat. Um, and then this year, it's our 14th year doing it, we partnered with the Harris Poll to develop a, a robust methodology and survey, which our experts then use to analyze 30 different diets. And we considered everything from health risks and benefits, mm -hmm. um, how likely it was that someone would stick with a diet long term. Because let's be honest, a gut diet may look good, it may look good on you, but if you can't stick with it for the long term, you'll be right back where you started. Yeah, a lot of people are taking the Ozempic and all those different drugs, but if you're gonna do diets, let's start with some of these. The keto diet came out on top if you wanna lose weight like that. Absolutely, so if you've got a special event, you need yeah. to lose weight quickly, the keto diet will work for that. Um, it is a low carb, high fat diet. It really restricts um, your mm -hmm. net carbs to 20, with basically the equivalent of a slice of bread. So you're really one slice of bread. One is all slice the carbs of bread per day. Uh, so not not a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but having said that, you can lose. You know, people have lost as much as 10 pounds in two weeks on this diet. So it definitely works. Our experts, however, will stress that this is not a diet you want to do for the long term. And in fact, other than for fat waste, fast weight loss, this diet did not fare well across our okay. rankings. Mm -hmm. What about the overall best weight loss diet, which I think you guys found that it was Weight Watchers. Why that's, is that? That's right. So Weight Watchers, if you want to lose weight at a healthy pace, and a healthy pace is usually one to two pounds a week, or you want to maintain the weight that you have, Weight Watchers is the way to go. It is a membership-based program, but for folks who like uh, need extra support and guidance, it really offers that, like um, one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching sure. and resources and so on. All right, let's count down the, the the top three. So let's start with number three. This is a diet I actually had not heard of. I thought I'd heard of them all. This one's called the MIND diet. Right. So the MIND diet is actually a combination of two really well-studied diets, the Mediterranean diet and the DASH diet. What sets it apart is that it focuses on foods that are believed to be good for brain health. So okay. those are things like nuts, berries, uh, dark leafy greens mm -hmm. and foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids mm -hmm. like um, salmon and herring. Sure. Okay, and so the second number two is the DASH diet, which yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of. Yeah. What's the DASH diet? It too is a well-studied diet. Uh, DASH diet stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension, and that's exactly what it's intended to do. Um, it focuses on eating plenty of heart-friendly fiber as well as heart-friendly minerals like potassium, calcium, and magnesium. All right, so numero uno, which is really no surprise, this is the one everyone seems to love the most, is the Mediterranean diet. Why did this one do so well? Right, it's it's really no surprise. Yeah. I mean, this is a, a lifestyle approach more than a diet. It's delicious, it doesn't restrict anything. Um, I will say, people tend to think Mediterranean diet that's piles of pasta with cheesy sauce. That's not what no. it is. Mm -hmm. It's a plant-forward diet. So a typical Mediterranean meal might be eggplant stuffed with lentils and pine nuts and tomatoes and a drizzle of olive oil. And for dessert, you'd have uh, some watermelon with feta cheese, for example. Um, what's great about this diet, too, is that the basic tenants, you know, high in veggies, uh, have a little bit of seafood a few times a week with moderate amounts of poultry, eggs, keep those red meats and sweets as special treats. You follow those tenants can be really be adapted to any country's cuisine mm. or anyone's dietary preference. So you can even do a Japanese version or a vegan version of this diet. And I believe you can have a glass of wine from time you to time on this diet. You absolutely can. Why would can. you know that? Well, <laughs> just ask for a friend. <laughs> That's a, all right. It's funny. A lot of people say that they're going to exercise to lose weight during the new year, but really 90, well, 80% of it or so is really what you put in your body. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. that's certainly true. Uh -huh. And I love the Mediterranean diet because to me it's an example of how healthy eating can also be really delicious. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Gretel, thank you Thanks, so Gretel. much. Thank if you want to check out this list and our guide to picking the best program for your body and goals, go check out today.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.